Uh, now, big story today, barristers going on strike, one of a number of groups taking industrial action at the moment. Justice Secretary Dominic Raab says the strikes are regrettable and will only delay justice for victims. The Criminal Bar Association, which represents legal professionals in England and Wales, say there will be further walkouts until the 22nd of July. Well, joining me now to discuss this, criminal barrister at Red Lion Chambers, Simon Spence QC. Uh, Simon, good to see you this afternoon. Um, it's worth reminding our viewers what this is all about. How did we get here? The, the history to what's happened today was that the government commissioned a report from Sir Christopher Bellamy into um, the legal aid payment system, which has been stagnant for over 20 years, leading to a real-term cut in barristers' pay of about 26%. Sir Christopher's report was delivered to the Justice Secretary at the end of November last year, and the report contains a number of very clear, unambiguous recommendations which, according to Sir Christopher, were urgent and should be implemented with immediate effect. The report wasn't disclosed to anybody for over three weeks. The, Minister of, the Ministry of Justice said they wanted until Easter of this year to consider it, and it's not a very lengthy report, frankly. And then there would be a lengthy consultation period taking us to the end of this calendar year before the government committed to any particular position uh, and more importantly, would only apply any changes it did make to new cases, which would mean that uh, particularly junior barristers who rely on a high turnover of cases would be seeing no benefit at all for at least a calendar year. And it seemed to us as a profession that that was not what Sir Christopher was recommending. And um, we tried all sorts of ways of talking to the government, getting them to listen to our concerns, um, and frankly, we're met with very little engagement. And so whilst um, it, it's regrettable is the right word to use, it's actually the government's conduct that's regrettable, not ours. Simon, perhaps you can put it into a bit of context for us, because there is a perception that barristers are very well paid, but you used a key phrase there, junior barristers, those starting out yes. in their career. And as you said, they rely on a high turner of cases. Their career progression you know, relies on them getting enough legal experience to, to go down their career path. So in real terms, the amount of money they get, say, to um, prosecute or defend a legal aid case, what would that work out per hour, for example? Talk to me about the kind of money they're on and the kind of work they are doing, the kind of hours. Yes. It, it depends very much on the case. The graduated fee scheme that pays legal aid is extremely complicated and it's made up with an arithmetical formula depending on the nature of the offence, how many days you're in court uh, and matters of that sort. That scheme has been in place for over 20 years and in that time there has been no increase in the rates. There have been adjustments to the system and to the scheme, but no real-term increases. And that is why, in real terms, we have seen our pay go down and down. Um, we're paid by the individual case, and so how busy we are will dictate how much we earn in any given year. And the average for a junior barrister, somebody of under five years call, is less than £20,000. And so when we are described in the media, as we often are, usually by politicians, as fat cat lawyers, uh, nothing could be further from the truth. And the difficulty is, it's not just about the level of pay. The consequence of that is that junior barristers are leaving the criminal bar in droves. And it means there aren't enough people to man the courts. Courts aren't sitting enough to clear the backlog that was caused pre-COVID and uh, during COVID. And it is going to have a really large impact on the future sustainability of the criminal justice itself. I heard it described earlier as the criminal justice system being on its knees. Is that something you would agree with? It's been on its knees for years. Um, it's worse than that now. It's in danger of imminent collapse if the government don't act and act urgently. Simon Spence, QC, uh, putting it into 
stark reality there for us. 40% of junior criminal barristers left the profession in just one year. Criminal trials, as you said, simply not happening uh, because there aren't barristers to prosecute or defend them. It's worse than the system being on its knees, much worse than that. Simon Spence, really appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you. Junior barristers on strike today. Uh, that strike action potentially continuing until the 22nd of July.